Eddie, it's Keith here. I too want to add my congratulations to you tonight. Um, gosh, I can't even put into words what you've meant to the Opry over the years, what you've done for me personally, what you've done for all of Nashville, for the Hall of Fame, coming and doing our concerts with us for All for the Hall, and um, just an indescribable giving to country music and all of us. I love you, Eddie Stubbs. Anything you ever need on this journey ahead, you call me and I'll be right there for you. I love you, brother. Be well. Hey, Eddie. Um, I just wanted to say a sincere thank you for being a part of so many incredible memories for me um, and so many other artists at the Grand Ole Opry. Um, you are, you're always going to be a part of that for me. And um, we love you. We're going to miss you so much. And thank you for all that you've done for all of us. Eddie Stubbs, Garth Brooks. Um, I don't even know how you say this. Do we still call it the Opry if you're not there? Dude, I, I can't imagine it without you. So I tell you what, every time I play it from now to the day I die, I'll see you over there and I'll hear that great voice when those lucky nights when I get to hear you say the name Garth Brooks. I love you, pal. Enjoy your retirement. Get ready. You're going to be busy. Eduardo Stubbs, I love you with all my heart, and I want to thank you from the bottom of this heart for all the great nights of country music that you and I have shared together on WSM. God bless you on your new trail, my boy. Hello, Brother Eddie Stubbs. This is Jamie Daly at Daly and Fenson, and I've got to tell you that I am so sad to hear that you are retiring, but I am so thrilled and so happy for you that you're getting to do something that you want to do and you have played a major part in the history of Daly and Vincent. You're the reason that we're named Daly and Vincent. And you told us, boys, one of these days you'll be members of the Grand Ole Opry. And we never thought that would happen, but you were right. And you have played a, a historic part in who we are and what we're about. Man, we sure do love you, and we sure are going to miss you out at the Grand Ole Opry. You will forever and always be a part of our Grand Ole Opry family. We love you, my pal. Eddie, I hear you're going to let it go. You're going to stop announcing, but I'm going to miss you. Well, maybe I can see you when I come to the Grand Ole Opry. You'll hang around there sometime. Anyway, have a good time on your getting rid of the whole workload, the whole workload. I love you. Talk to you later. Eddie Stubbs, from all the members of the Old Crow Medicine Show, you are loved, beloved. You are an inspiration to us and to everybody that we got a chance to, to greet all of those audience members on the Opry or on Old Crow stages. Everywhere that we went with you, everybody had a good time. And I can say that with complete assurance, because you're Eddie Stubbs. You know how to do it. Thank you for sharing your talents with, with Old Crow. Thanks for um, being such an incredible ambassador to the Grand Ole Opry uh, and for WSM. For all those listeners who listened to you late night, who felt that love and affinity that I feel, um, they didn't get to know you in the flesh and to see what a tremendous human being you are. Um, but they got to know you through your amazing voice over the airwaves and you bless everyone that, that uh, gets to be in your presence. Thank you, Eddie. Eddie, Trisha here. Thank you for your service to the Grand Ole Opry. Thank you for being a friend to country music. I love you. Hey, Eddie. Hey, Eddie Stubbs. Well, I'm sorry that the rest of the Whites couldn't be with me today to uh, congratulate you and wish you well. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't want to miss an opportunity to tell you how much we love you and what you mean to us and just what we've learned from you. We're thankful. I tell you, nobody did a better job and taught us more about how to honor the pioneers and, right. and the people that um, have made country music what it is. Yeah. And, uh, I just, I'm thankful to call you brother and friend. <laughs> yes. And, uh, and I wish you the best. Um, I'm going to miss you. I'm really, really going to miss you at the opera. Yeah. I'm going to miss hearing you on the radio. But I... I'm, I just, I'm looking forward for this time for you and for Debbie. Congratulations and enjoy this new season of your life. It is a new season and I don't know what God has planned for you both. Uh, you're never called just one of you. We're, we're all called together uh, <laughs> because 
the two become one flesh. And you and Debbie certainly have. Mm -hmm. And uh, we love you guys so much. So glad to get to be part of your beautiful wedding. And, uh, but. And share an anniversary now. That's right. <laughs> August the 4th. That's right. And uh, so we're just, uh, we're just so proud for you guys. And, uh, and I like Sharon, I'm going to miss you. Uh, no one, no one has ever introduced me any better That's right. <laughs> uh, than at Bluegrass Nights. You you tell it like it is, and a lot of people skip over. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people skip over a lot of stuff, but you don't skip over, and because uh, you tell it all. And and uh, I've always loved you for for loving the old stanky music mm -hmm. like we do, the old fig, moldy fig moldy stuff. Moldy fig stuff. And. Uh, <laughs> And we're speaking for Molly and Luke too, because yeah. uh, they love you so much and you've been such a friend and Uncle Eddie to all of us. And uh, so we're thankful to know you and uh, I know we're gonna see you again. We're gonna see more of you, uh, but we'll miss you at the Opry. We sure. love you and just thank you for all you've done. You've been a real blessing to, to this music and to this city. God mm -hmm. bless you. Eddie, this is Bobby Osborne and uh, just wanna Wish you a happy retirement. I know it's been uh, many, many years ago that you started in radio and fiddle playing and all that right there, you know, and I'm really uh, honored to have met you years ago and of course, tickled to death that you came to the Grand Ole Opry and and, and uh, with WSM and and uh, got, a, got a job and I've got a chance to know you all these years and, and uh, You've just been a great asset to the uh, staff at WSM or anywhere you was at, you know, with your uh, MC work and your fiddle playing. So uh, I, do, uh, I just just wanted to wish you a happy retirement. And some of the days, these days, it'll be my turn, I guess. But I hope you have the best of the best and, and a happy retirement. Thank you, my boy. Well, Eddie Stubbs, I just never even thought of a day when you would be retiring before I do. But you know what? As sad as I am to see you go and that I won't be able to see you as often as I always love to at WSM or at the Grand Ole Opry, I am so happy for you and Debbie. And I cannot wait to hear all the wonderful adventures you're going to tell us about later. Good luck to both of you and know that I'm sending my love with you wherever you go. Hey, Steve Warner here. Eddie Stubbs, I just want to tell you, I just heard about your retirement. And while I'm sad, I'm happy for you. And I want to say best of luck to you. You are the best. We are going to miss you. Love you, man. Eddie Stubbs, what else is there to say? You are an icon all on your own. Uh, when I think Grand Ole Opry, I see your face. You have been there for so, so many years, cheering us all on. Uh, you're such a talented um, announcer. You're such a talented radio personality. And you're dedicated to country music and the history of country music. And you just exude that in your person. And I wanna say personally, thank you for your many years with the Opry for being a part of my life and my career, as well as all of us. I'm sure I can speak on behalf of so many artists and we love you. Hope this next chapter brings you everything you have dreamed of and more. The best of luck to you and don't be a stranger. Hey Eddie Stubbs, Mark Snyder here, wishing you a happy retirement. I hope you're gonna enjoy yourself. I'm gonna miss you, but I hear retirement is UFB. Congratulations Eddie on your retirement, 25 years at WSM and the Grand Ole Opry. Wow. It doesn't seem real to me. You've been a part of my life since the 80s, Johnson Mountain Boys and Grand Ole Opry. I think I was there when you first came with Ricky and uh, things ain't gonna be the same without you. I sure love you, Miss Debbie. So thankful you've got a beautiful wife to be beside you now and uh, you can just ride off into the sunset the country music WSM the Grand Ole Opry you made quite a mark the world loves you I love you and uh, you've been a big part of Daily and Vincent you helped name us and many many other things that you've done for us I'm forever indebted in my heart to you and we're here anytime you need us night or day. I'll just sure love you. 
have a happy retirement. We're going to sure miss you. Hello, Eddie, my friend. Uh, I'm wishing you congratulations on your retirement. Thank you for a great run. Um, you know, when it comes to comedic chemistry between two people, it's something you cannot manufacture. It's something that either is or isn't. And between you and me, it is. And I have enjoyed playing in that sandbox with you for many years now. I'm going to miss you behind the podium. And, um, oh, there's someone here who wants to say hi, too. All right, Eddie. Yep, it's me, Two Jaws. Ah, ah, ah. You may not recognize me. I've changed somewhat since my heyday. Ah, my heyday. Ah. Boy, it's tough to come back and die again here on this video. But I'll tell you what, Eddie, I've spent a lot of time lately at the Betty Ford Clinic. They sent me there to dry out. Ah. But seriously, as you ride into the sunset with your beautiful wife and your stack of Clyde Moody records, just remember, ah, ah, ah. So long, my friend. I'll see you on down the trail. Ah. Hey, Eddie, uh, congratulations on your retirement. What a shock to, uh, to realize that you're going to leave us uh, at your young age. I've enjoyed uh, talking to you on many fronts, uh, all about uh, the Opry, of course, radio we have in common, and uh, the funeral profession uh, we both seem to have an affinity for. Anyway, wish you well, and uh, hope you come back and see us real soon. Mr. Eddie, Mark Wills here. Just wanted to say thank you for your 25-plus years of uh, showing country music love. You have, uh, you have been one of the most knowledgeable uh, men that I have ever known about country music and the history of country music, who played on records, what year they were recorded, all of the knowledge that goes along with being a true fan of country music. Uh, we're going to miss you around the Grand Ole Opry. I uh, just want to say thank you for always being welcoming to me, uh, for being there the night of my induction, for being there the night of my invitation, and for the many times that uh, you stood over on the side of the stage when we would speak and you would tell me how much the Grand Ole Opry needs somebody like me. Uh, the Grand Ole Opry needs somebody like you. We have been honored to have you for the last 25 years, being the voice of the Grand Ole Opry and... Uh, Happy that you are getting to uh, go on in life and do some other things. I don't know where you're going to. I don't know what you're going to do. But please know that we will greatly miss you around the Opry. I uh, look forward to seeing you. Come back and visit us. Come out and hang out with us. You're always welcome on my guest list. God bless you, and uh, thank you, my friend. Hello there, Moldy Fig number one. <laughs> it's old Moldy Fig number two. Stopping by to tell you that I love you and I'm sure going to miss you at the Grand Ole Opry. I'm a little concerned because I don't have anybody else there to talk to. Nobody there knows the significance of April the 8th and the year 49. They don't know Jimmy Osborne. They don't know Esco Hankins or Byron Parker. Who am I going to talk with about all of this kind of stuff? Man, you got to come back and, uh, and visit every once in a while so we can at least catch up on all the old moldy fig stuff. Buddy, I wish you the very best. Hey, you and Debbie, I hope you travel a lot, enjoy the world, enjoy your retirement, enjoy your days, but don't be a stranger, pal. Love you. See you soon. Well, Eddie Stubbs, here I sit on the porch of the beautiful Harmony Ranch overlooking Tumbleweed Valley uh, playing Doc Williams' old guitar. And I always think of you and I think of Doc and I think of Tommy Sosby and Flatten Scruggs in 1952, Molly O'Day and uh, the Chuck Wagon Gang and everybody that you know so darn much about. I admire your character as a human being as well as a fount of knowledge and you've been a great friend to me and I just can't tell you how much I appreciate you how much we're going to miss you uh, and how much we wish wherever you spend the rest of your life doing something rewarding something wonderful we're so happy with your marriage uh, you're just the best thing that happened to WSM and the Grand Ole Opry since Judge George D. Hay. So, happy trails to you till we meet again.
Bye, Eddie.